Hey guys, today I wanted to share some little things that we can do because I was inspired by Meghan Markle. She uses acupuncture and cupping, right? Now, I use those things too. And I wanted to share some little things we can do to help. Now, the disclaimer. These exercises and things that we're gonna do in the video are by no means a replacement for medical attention. If you need medical attention, please seek it out. Okay? Now, I'm gonna have to take my glasses off a part of this because, well, I gotta get at some places on the face and I'll try not to squint because I won't be able to see you, but <laughs> you'll see me, that's what's important here. So, for instance, if you get those tension headaches behind the eyes from eye strain, you're sitting at your desk, you're working on your computer for many hours, here's something that you can do. Mm. Now we see how kids, they do this. Eh? That's where we're gonna start. The thumbs sit on the temple gently. We don't want to push on our temples. That would be crazy, okay? That creates pain. So we're gonna gently rest our thumbs on our temples. And now we've got antenna all of a sudden, yeah? Kids love these exercises. But these two fingers, these index fingers, are going to follow the curve of the eyebrow. Now, I have noticed that all women, for some reason, have the same shape of eyebrow. Hmm, I don't think Mother Nature did that. But these eyebrows are mine. So when I do that eyebrow sweep, I'm a-okay, <laughs> right? I don't wear makeup, so I don't have the smudge to happen. So use your discretion, right? Here we go. You're at your desk and your eyes are tired because you've been looking at that monitor. Take a break. And we gently put our thumbs on our temples. We take our index fingers and we curve them like antenna. And they're going to, you're going to start that curve from the inside of the brow to the end of the brow. This is where you want to apply some pressure. For some people, pulling across their eyebrows can be very painful because we store a lot of our tension here. So all you're going to do, remember, gently on the temples where your thumbs are. And we're going to pull across. We call it yu yao because it's shaped like the Belly of a fish. Yu yao, fish belly. And we're gonna pull. And we're gonna pull. And pull. Now, at the end of that exercise, the tension is usually much lessened and the eyes feel refreshed. So, that's one exercise we can do. Also, another exercise we can do for tension we usually have, hmm, somebody used to say, oh, you wear your shoulders like earrings. Because the more tense we become, the higher up they go. And you're not even conscious of that. So we're going to pay attention to where our shoulders are. And they should be nice and relaxed. Just let them hang. So if in the event that you find, oh, that headache is going up the back of your neck, bare shoulders. Now, here's a word of caution. If you are newly pregnant, this exercise that I'm going to show you, you cannot do it. It is contraindicated in pregnancy. Your right fist will go to your left shoulder. And you start here, and it's just a gentle tap. Right? We start here. And we work our way down. And I can't see it because I have to think about it because that mirror reflection is there. So I have to do it without looking at you or I'll totally trip my own brain up. So we start here at the, just right here, a nice gentle tap all the way down. All the way down, nice and gentle tapping. And you're using this portion of the pinky because that, that knuckle, remember we start up here and it's a gentle tapping all the way down. Gentle tapping, a gentle tapping. Now, if you are tapping and you're like, man, I got bricks for shoulders, then you need this exercise, okay? It's a self-massage. And now we're gonna do it on the other side. Hmm? Remember, a nice loose fist, and you're gonna use that knuckle on the pinky, and we're gonna start here. Then we're gonna tap all the way down gently. 
gently all the way down. See, that's what you can do when you're sitting at your desk and you need to take that break, okay? So let's recap. Actually, there's one more I wanna show you. This is also a calmer. Have you ever noticed that hmm, black women, right? We wear weave sometimes. I, I, I'm not wearing a weave, but you know how you don't want to scratch it out and you have to pat the top of your head or pat where it itches. Ha! The very top of the head is do 20. And you know, that is a very calming spot on the body. So if you are sitting at your desk again at work or you've been standing for a bit, you just simply gently pat the very top of the head. And it will help you to calm yourself. And it gets rid of you, you don't have to scratch. But it's a great calming agent, right? To just gently tap it. Gently tap the very top of the head. And what that will help you to do, it relaxes from the top down. Okay? So, let's recap. Mm. Mm. A nice gentle pulling to help relieve any eye strain or eye tension. Okay? And then we are going to gently make that fist with the knuckle here and here. Gently tap down to relieve any tension. Gently tap down to relieve any tension. FYI, don't tap there if you're pregnant. Okay? Bad. And then the very top of the head, a nice gentle pat for calming. So those three things on a daily basis at your desk will help you to calm down. Ooh, one more if you deal with sinus issues. Mm. Your pinky and your ring fingers, we can just gently tap under the eye. Gently tap in here. Gently tap in there. Gently. Okay? That'll help to relieve any sinus pressure that you may have. You can go up there if you want to. But you use that ring finger and the pinky because the skin under the eyes is very tender. And so we don't want to create wrinkles now, do we? We just want to gently tap. Gently tap in there. So... Now that you've learned how to relax at your desk, and that'll also energize you to get through the rest of your day. Much love.